Hey everybody, it's Hatster here. I am sorry I haven't been uploading for the past few weeks. I hope you haven't missed me too much and you're all doing great as well. I would be like, I've been really busy, but I've also been really lazy at the same time. So I've been busy, lazy. But in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you about my favorite music albums that are in no particular order because I would put them all at number one spot. So first off in number one is Bring Me The Horizons album, That's The Spirit. This album came out at a time where my head was in quite a difficult place, like really negative, dark place that it's luckily not in anymore, possibly thanks to this album and the lyrics sort of, because of their, of that dark, depressing nature, I guess, helped me to relate to them and feel less alone through that time. So thank you, Bring Me The Horizon for That's The Spirit. And it was also great for me to see them live in concert in November last year. And that was possibly one of my favourite concerts that I've been to. So, Bring Me The Horizon in at number one. Also in at number one is Mech Deep's album Life's Not Out To Get You. This pop punky album is more of an upbeat album, less depressing than Bring Me The Horizon's one. And it's trying to say that no matter how bad things get, that life's not out to get you, I suppose. And even if times are bad, there's good times which is shown throughout all the songs in the album and it's one of the albums that I listen to when I'm feeling down especially I think it's called Gold Steps the album if you're ever feeling down listen to that song because it may save your life one day also in at number one is As It Is is album called Never Happy Ever After but the deluxe edition because it's also got Winter's Weather there I guess it's their latest single and three other acoustic versions of their songs and I just love as it is as it is <laughs> I don't know why I said that and all their songs on the album are really great and they have got so far from where they were a few years ago and hopefully they'll get even further because they just deserve greatness because they are awesome people and I got, a got the chance to meet them all as well when I saw them in April and they performed the whole of that album as well as the songs of This Mind of Mine, their EP before the album and it was really awesome to hear them sing all their songs live which they probably won't get to do anymore when they have new music out so also in at number one is As It Is Never Happy, After, Happy, Never Happy Ever After Deluxe Edition also in at number one is Bring Me The Horizons album Sempiternal, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is, I don't know, sometimes I just go back to this album and I love every single song on it and there isn't really much else to say about it. It's possibly Bring Me The Horizon's best album. I don't know whether to say that or not, but because I like That's The Spirit and Sempiternal as, at, like, equally because Libra, I'm a Libra and scales and equal balance, I don't know what I'm saying. But it's a great album, but it probably isn't everyone's cup of tea because it's quite heavy, this kind of music on it, and a lot of screaming, I suppose, but it's a great album that I love listening to. Also in at number one, I suppose I have to mention Sleeping With Sirens album Madness because I downloaded this on Google Play when it came out. I think it came out the day before I went to Iceland or something back in March last year. So I was listening to this on the plane to Iceland, I think. And I also saw Sleeping With Sirens on tour. But this album is awesome and it also features some more top songs of more depressing nature, I guess, but I don't know. I sort of attracted to depressing things. Is that bad? I don't know, but the songs on the album are really good and Sleeping With Sirens are great live as well. So yeah. Also on this list is, let me think of the name of the band because my memory is bad. I'm feeling, filming this in one thing. What's the name of the band? With Confidence, that's the name of it. With Confidence is an album that only came out I think last week called Better Weather. I'd heard, 
I saw them live when they were sporting as it is and like sort of it sounds weird like instantly fell in love with their music because it's more they're also a pop punky band I think they're from Australia and Better Weather is about like one of the lyrics from the song I think is despite the weather it gets better which is basically sort of a metaphor for even if things are not going well right now they can get better in the future and I guess a bit like Neck Deep's Life's Not Out To Get You is a bit like more upbeat, uplifting kind of music. I think Trash Boat's album also deserves a shout out. I'm not sure whether I'll put it in the number one spot as well because it's I've only heard it a few times and it's not always my kind of style of music but it at the current moment in time I put it in number one spot. I may change my mind in the future but it's also their album's called Nothing I Write You Can Change What You've Been Through and some of the songs in it are really short which is I don't know str strange in a way for me for albums usually songs are like between three and four minutes long maybe but some of them are like two and one minute long but all the tracks are pretty good and if you want something new to listen to I re would recommend that album as well as With Confidence it's Better Weather I think that's all my favourite albums that I enjoy listening to. So I guess this is the bit where I end the video. If you're watching this and you've heard what my favourite albums are and you have any other suggestions of albums you think I may like, then let me know in the comments or something and I'll be sure to check those out because I've got over 900 songs or something. I've probably got a thousand songs in my Spotify playlist that I listen to a lot. So more music, the merrier, I suppose. And if you want to listen to some more music, I've shared with you some albums you can listen to. Yeah, I've been Hatster, you've been you. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you again soon. Bye.